Hi everybody, this is Joe Kulas again for Noah Arms, and this little video review here is for the UTG AK-47 front forearm quad rail. Alright, um, as you can see there, some markings UTG, and then the marking uh, rail covers. It does come with 12 of those, and I'm going to be showing some accessories that you may want to put on your AK-47. Uh, but the auction is just for the quad rail and the rail covers. And that is 12 that is included. Alright, it's very, very simple, of course. Number railed, whatnot. And I've had a lot of questions of what does this look like on the gun? How exactly does it perform? Just some very basic stuff, how, how to install it. Here's just going to be the in general installation on your standard Kalashnikov. And this is not an actual one, it works on all of them. So uh, any other questions about compatibility and whatnot, just feel free to ask. And we have, we have a lot of info on that. So but you're just going to start by taking off your t top plate here. Just an impression on that little button you have there. And then you're going to take out your, your little bolt carriers and spring and whatnot. So I'll show you guys that step by step for everyone that's new to it. It's going to push it up front, lift up. And this... Uh, it's going to be hard to take out if you already haven't cocked it. So if it's already been cocked, it slides right back and then right up. Alright, now you have that taken out. Now you're going to be able to take out your gas tube from the front. Uh, and for your hand guards, it will be a little bit different from hand guard to hand guard, depending on which one you have. This is a Tapco. This comes off pretty easy. Except that I need to take out the gas block before I can take off the lower part of it here so you're gonna find this little switch right here if you guys can see that you just gotta hit it up and once it's hit up you're also gonna have to keep it leveled at a very little bit of certain angle while taking out your gas tube and the easiest way to do that is also use a flathead of some sort and then you just can put that off to the side also all right now with that You'll see your little uh, sling loop here has this attachment. I'll try to get view on it. It's right there. You're just gonna sling that to the other side, and then it's gonna allow you to push it forward, just like that. And again, it's this little lever right here. That's what locks it into place. All right. Now you can pull your hand guard front forward and then down. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the gas block back on there. But I'm also going to put my little sling loop back here. Also a good tip to have is have a towel so you can place these on there so they don't get anything else dirty. Uh, your miscellaneous parts and whatnot. Alright, after the gas tube is on there, you're just going to well, you can actually do this stuff later if you wish. But you can put the assembly back together, just slides right in the back, and then forward. Again, you can do this afterwards. I just like to do a function test just, just before you actually put the quad rail on there, just in case for some reason you installed something wrong. And that function test. As you can see, it's functioning fine. All right. Now with that, it's very simple. You have your two on each side, and then right back there, your little holes and what your screws are gonna be. It requires four screws, but it don't. It actually comes with six, just in case you were to lose them in the future or maybe strip them. All right. And it's very simple. It's gonna. The bottom part is going to slide up and just back just an ounce. And that's where you have this little catcher. You guys can see that. That's where it catches. And then the top is going to come right down. And then you're actually going to be pressing it on. And then you put the screws in one by one. Put the screws in last because otherwise you're going to have a lot of problems with trying to slide it on perfect there. Alright. Just figured I'd explain that because viewing's not going to be the best here after I start to do this. 
All right. Well, make sure you don't do that how I just did it real quick there, how it's a little too low first. All right. All right, very simple to do. You just gotta make sure you get it at that good angle, slides right up. Just don't try to flop it right on there, right out the back. And you'll, it depends on the AK size of the forms because all of them are made just a little bit different. So, very simple. Then we're gonna slide the top on here. And then also when you do slide the top on, make sure that all of the little holes are lined up. Because if they're not lined up right, when you try to put screws in, it's not going to work. And then the best way to do this is just to do all the screws at once a little bit. And if you're not familiar with that, it's um, don't tighten them all the way. It's uh, get them about 90% of the way down, then go to the next screw, and then just repeat. And it also comes with the included Allen wrench that's needed for this. So, very simple. And again, just make sure you go down about 90% of the way. All right, once that's done, you can go back and finish that last little bit. Now, last little bit is what makes sure it's securely tightened all the way. So I might be able to do a little better from the top. All right, just gonna do one more quick round. And don't over tighten them because that is how you do strip screws. But again, it's one of those things that you just gotta be more familiar with. But it does come with two extra screws just in case for some reason you were to strip them. And also these are pretty pretty good quality screws and not very cheap, not very bad at all. Alright, and as you can see, it's installed on there nice and easy. Functionality still working, of course, because it doesn't actually affect anything of internals. It's ex external, very simple. I'm going to take off all the side rail covers, too. I had a couple questions about that. What does it look like? And just more, more or less cosmetic questions. As you can see, it has a much more tactical look for it. Alright, very simple. And then, of course, this takes any types of scopes or front hand grips or anything like that. Nice little scope on there. It actually has a red dot also. You guys can see that. It's very nice. I'm also going to quickly throw on a front hand grip here. It's actually a silverback teapot if anyone's familiar with them. So it turns your standard AK into much more of a modern combat weapon. Just allowing you to go to the full extent more or less. And then also the grip that has also featured in my store is very adjustable. So if you want it some ways down there or all the way down there, that's for much nicer view of things but very simple to use very easy uh, if you have any questions about it just feel free to ask and again the option is just for the rail and the 12 UTG rail covers alright if you have any questions just feel free to ask